Hello, my name is Mars, and welcome back to Season, A Letter to the Future. We have made our way to this fruit farm, finally, uh, and now we're going to explore it a little bit and hopefully find those two people who live here. What were their names? Sofon and Kochi. Yes. Is that the way we came from? I can't tell. Nope. That's part of the farm. We can look around over here first. Oh no, there's a gate. There's a gate, I can't go past the gate. Can I at least take a picture of this lovely field? See, I, I looked this game up for I don't remember what reason, but I looked it up recently and I saw some like still images of pictures people had taken and they look so much better than any picture I'd taken because they make use of like filters and and field of focus and <laughs> all of that stuff that I don't fully understand. Is there a break in the fence anywhere? I feel like there have been like breaks in fences before. Aha, yes, over there. Come on, bike. Oh no, that's not a break in the fence. I imagined it. Okay. And nothing over there. I think there are a bunch of directions we can go. We can go forward that way. Or we can go... Oh, there's something here. What's this? Is this a grave? God is always stopping to tie his shoe. He bends over and his eyes go completely white for like 60 minutes. But he doesn't tie a single lace. What does that mean? Wait, what does that say? A farm upon the hi a hill. What love and labor was expended here. A house with small wonders. Were you, like, reading something that's written here? That was a very odd thing to say. Okay, so I see... Something in the distance over there, but I think I'm better off actually entering the farm. And seeing what lies inside. Ooh, this is lovely. Some some buds, some sprouts. No, nothing to say about that. There's a a house there. Ooh, what's this? I like the look of this plant. Like rhubarb or something. I'm hearing a lot of noises, but I don't know if there's anything that can be recorded. Trees growing in a bathtub. What is that noise? Like that crunching noise. Let's see. I don't know where it's coming from. Maybe over the fence? That would make sense, I suppose. Some more lovely plants that I'm sure won't really get a reaction, but I'll At take a picture of them anyway. Green than it is. <laughs> so do I. I'm trying to take care of a few plants myself because I have like these anxieties about like, oh, I can never have kids. I can never have a pet because I don't know how to take care of anything other than myself. So I'm starting with plants because I, I really want a cat. That's what I really want the most. 
Um, so as practice for a pet, I am taking care of a few supposedly easy plants, peperomias, and uh, it's going all right. They're flowering in the summer. It's not terrible. What is that noise? Is it a noise that the river is making, maybe? Oh, that's a beautiful view. What a nice place. A place to look over the river. Oh, a birdhouse. I can record the birdhouse. Come on. Human soul was once described to me as a birdhouse. <laughs> okay, I won't. That's a really good song. I don't really want to sing it right now. But I feel like that's a reference. What are these? Like, oh, jam jars? Were they making, like, jam here? I hope this wasn't to eat. It smells terrible. Okay. Maybe not. Is that a person over there? Tools are to be returned here. Has anyone seen my little scythe? Tools grow legs and drown the lake. Interesting. I had an uncle who collected tools that were so old nobody knows what they were used for. Huh. Oh yeah, there's the little scythe. Interesting. <clears throat> I see a person and something else to pick up. Saba? Is that a kind of fruit? Looks like it. Or a, a drink of some kind? I hope I get to taste some Saba fruit. If it merits a sticker, must be pretty good. Oh, look at that beautiful little lake. I see a person over here, <gasps> and they have a bike too! It's a small bike. I think that's a child's bike. Oh, no, no, no! You said we had until midnight. I'm not ready to leave. Look at all this. Wait a minute. A cute outfit, a bicycle. <laughs> I am cute. The gray hand. I am cute, and the gray hands are not cute. What a relief. I'm sorry. I just assumed because who else would be? What are you doing here? I'm recording and studying the valley. You're really cutting it close. I guess I'm doing research here on the lawn. I'm studying my own life. Hmm. Welcome to Tiang Valley. You should have been here a week ago when the evacuation started. Almost everyone is gone now. I met your neighbor, Matura. Oh, I hope she was nice to you. She has good and bad days. Like all of us, I guess. I hope she'll evacuate with us tonight. Mm, me too. I think she was having a good day. If anything, we helped and made it a little better. The monk is a lost cause, but I couldn't bear the thought of her staying behind. The monk, that must be the person who is at the shrine, who you weren't able to meet. Yes, she will live on. I hope we'll be neighbors in the Radiant City then. Look! Start your new life in the Radiant City. Does it say anything on the back? It's a map of her apartment. Every Radiant City apartment comes furnished with an array of devices, quilts, toys, musical instruments, and much more. But most importantly, they come furnished with a loving community around them. See how they put the dimensions on the back? I recreated our future apartment here, on the lawn. Oh. This is the space we have to work with. Oh, I see the it's boy. 
I'm trying to really imagine what it'll be like. We're going from a big farm to one room, and we need to be packed by tonight. I already packed for myself and my son, but my husband Yuri is a little harder to pack for because he passed away recently. Mm. And I can't bring all his things. It's not realistic. His stuff is still, it's all here. It's okay. You said you're here to study the valley? My Yuri was doing the same thing. We can do this. Just need to decide. Oh, am I gonna help you decide what to take? Oh boy. A life on the lawn. New page added. Well, maybe I should start working on the fruit farm page. Safan needs help finishing packing by tonight. She can't decide what to take with her. I tried to help. Um, the birdhouse. Oh, that's a tiny sticker. I'll put it right here. <laughs> In the corner. Birdhouse. Um, let's see. What else? A few pictures of plants. And... I want to put down, I wish my thumb were more green than it is. The earth gave and gave. It did not let up. Not even at the last minute. We collect the fruit of the land we know is dying. Who could forgive us? All right. Ooh, bees. <laughs> bees. I can draw. I can put down some pictures of some bees. I think this page will mostly be stickers. I want to put down another photo of plants, though. And. The, the conclusion over here. And one more sticker, how about it? Love that. Okay. Well, before I take a look at anything, I'm gonna talk to the kid. Tales from the Prismatic Grounds. He's wearing a soldier's uniform. Or is that one of their hats? Maybe it's like makeshift supposed oh, to be like I one of their hats. I overloaded it. So I had to use the wheels of his bicycle. Now he's so mad he won't say a word. Mm -mm. <laughs> My bike is too big for you kids, sorry. Let's see. Some paintings, some lovely paintings. Eh. Let me click. Let me click. Sometimes the mouse just doesn't respond in this game. Yuri learned to paint from our neighbor, Matiora. He painted all three of these. Wow. This is a self portrait he did. Oh. Kind of intense, right? It's beautiful. He was more handsome than that. <laughs> I wish he could have seen himself the way I saw him, you know? He was really lovely. Just occasional dark moods from his work. This is his portrait of me. Hmm. We got into a fight over it. <laughs> I don't look like that. I look like a person. What's that supposed to mean? It you just splatter some paint <laughs> on the canvas and put my name on it? It's your aura, I guess. He said it was my essence. Your essence. I don't know. Do you think it looks like me? 
I don't know you well enough yet. I like this kind of abstract interpretations of someone you know, but I, I don't know Safan, so I can't really say if this captures her essence. I don't know you well enough yet. He painted this for Kochi. Some kind of private joke between the two of them. He is sitting on top of a soldier's hat. I don't get it. They were both interested in the war and how it ended. I'm not. I just pray nothing like that will ever happen again. Which painting should I take with me? Um... I like the self-portrait. Yes, you're right. Himself, from his own eyes. Something I could never see without this painting. Okay. Um... All right, what else? Something, some of his clothing? I've packed my essential clothes. I don't know what to do with these. This was Yuri's best suit. Maybe when Kochi grows up, it'll fit him. Hmm. That's a long time away, though. My island dress. I made this for our trip to the islands, the trip we never took. It's so pretty. It was based on a photo of a seaside dance. The hours I spent on this. These are some of Yuri's clothes from when he was a kid. I thought Kochi could wear them, but he says they're itchy. So what's the use? But to throw them away, he was a little boy. He would put these clothes and go to school. He grew up. Oh, God, this is... I don't think you should keep the kids' clothes. I mean... This hurts a little. Mm. Okay. Um... The fancy suit, or the island dress, or leave it all behind. Yeah, I don't think... I mean, personally, I love the island dress. But if she feels like she won't have an occasion to wear it, then it's kind of pointless to have around. The fancy suit, like she said, Kochi won't grow into it for a very long time, and he might not even it might not even fit him. He might end up having a different body type than his father. So and the kids' clothing to keep seems kind of pointless. It yes, it belonged to your husband, but it belonged to him so long ago. That's not the man you knew. So I, I say leave it all behind. It's true. We don't need any of these. They're already collecting dust here. Yeah. All right. This is going well. But I feel like I'm forgetting something. Or someone. The demon of shame and mourning. Huh? How could I have forgotten? Now, where did I put him? We need to bring the demon of shame and mourning. He is lovely. When someone dies and you're in mourning, you're supposed to keep the demon in sight at all times. Why is it the demon of shame, though? He's supposed to remind you of your regrets. It's a religious thing. That sounds like it would make your grieving process worse. I kind of hate that. Um... Okay. It seems like these interactions are going to give me all I need, so I don't really need to take pictures. Kind of curious what else is around here, though. <gasps> oh! Sheepies? Or cows? One of the two. But we'll, 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 we'll finish this up first. Old pictures, old CDs maybe, and books. These are Yuri's books. They're pretty heavy. The Prism of Yesterday. Okay. This is an old religious book, The Prism of Yesterday. He didn't like to talk about his faith. I haven't read it much. Maybe there's a part of him in these pages. Hmm. A part I never understood that I could still glimpse. 
Maybe he would want me to keep this one. But I don't know. It just doesn't mean much to me. Yuri found this old tourist guide to the valley before we moved here. He was so excited. But this guide is really out of date. <laughs> it's from way before the war. There's something optimistic about the colors they used. Learn the Aslan language. Pick no, dumb on. We really wanted to take a trip to the archipelago together. We prepared for it a lot. Even taught ourselves a bit of the language from this book. But we never made the trip. It was always going to be soon, but it never happened. Seems like the kind of thing no one does anymore. Which should I take with me? Mm. Um, I think that the religious book is worth having. Just for the sake of learning. Yes, that seems right. Maybe I'll even read it one day. <laughs> I suppose I'll be leaving the other two behind. I know they're heavy, but would you want to take one with you? Um, sure, I'll take the language book. I like languages, even if I'm never going to speak to anyone who speaks Azen. Yeah, maybe you'll make it to the Azen Islands someday. Let's see how this is going so far. This book will help me remember Yuri's quiet, spiritual side. I'll remember how Yuri saw himself. I think we're almost there. Let's just look a little more. Oh boy, what else could there be? Uh, the photos? Maybe I'll do those last. And... What's here on the bed? Personal effects? Eh, there we go. Tools? My husband built these tools to study the valley. They were his life's work, and they took his life away, too. So what do I do with them? You can't buy tools like these. He made them. What are they for? My husband didn't insult God, but maybe he stepped on his toe, and his life went out of him. Mm. I mean, you're insinuating so much. I'm kind of curious to know how it happened. Even if, if it's maybe a little rude to say. There's the skin of our body that keeps us together, but there's also the skin of our minds. The skin of your mind can pop like a bubble, and everything that makes you yourself will come pouring out, and the earth will devour it eagerly, the way wind fills a vacuum. They might be incredibly valuable to a scientist on the other side of the world. I don't know. I also hate them. I get you're a curious soul but I forbid you from using them. Okay. What the hell are they? I don't care, but he did. He gave his life trying to understand this world. I can't keep these tools, and I can't throw them away. There's even more of them, bigger ones, out at his work shed. Okay, I'm going to turn away now. I want you to take them or throw them away. I don't want to know. Um, if I can't use them... And I don't even know what they do. I say trash them. Okay. They're still there. Okay. <laughs> Alright. And old photos. I went through all our old photos. Trying to see what I might be forgetting. I love that view. Mm, of the shrine. Have you been up there? By the entrance to the shrine? I think so. Maybe not. Have I not? The entrance is bigger than the shrine itself. Just across the river and up the hill. It's worth visiting. I've been there. Why are you acting like I haven't been there, game? The doors to the shrine open when the sun goes down. The monk is still in there. I hope he'll evacuate. That's Matiora. She lives east of here, out in the woods by the river. She said she'll evacuate, but she's still here. It makes me nervous, but I can't complain. We're still here, too. Hmm. 
Ask about the boy. That's Kochi. He was such an easy kid back then. He used to talk more, used to make up stories. I really hope the city has kids his age. It was already a small world when it was the three of us. Now he spends so much time alone. The past is such a heavy dream. And I never remember my dreams. But when I wake up, there's a cloud of feelings the dream left behind. Then the day begins. I move around, and that trace disappears. I wonder if our memories of the valley will drift away like that. Mm, slip into the past, hold on to the present, project into the future. I mean... We're doing all three of those things in this game. I don't think that it's right to value any one of these things over anything else. But relying too much on one of them seems wrong too. I don't know. At this point, it seems like the healthiest thing for Sofan and Kochi to focus on is the future and how things might change for the better. Someday Kochi will be as old as his father was when he died. What will he remember? All right, this is it. Oh no! <gasps> oh! The demon of shame and mourning. Oh. <laughs> Okay, she's she's fine with it. I thought that might, like, break her as she's grieving for her husband. I killed him. <laughs> the demon of shame and mourning. What was I thinking bringing it along? What an awful tradition. Kochi, do you still want to take a final tour of the valley? Let's get those wheels back where they belong. Oh my goodness, what is that thing? <laughs> I know what I'll carry with me. It's something I couldn't leave behind if I tried. It couldn't be crushed like the demon. It's too many layers deep. I'll carry the part of me that's gone, that's missing. But there's so much life left that flowers grow along its edges, something like that. I'm glad you came to Tian Valley today. Thank you for being there for me. I didn't realize how much I needed a stranger's ear. Now, there's no rush, but as you try to wrap your mind around this place, feel free to come ask me questions. I'll be right here until night comes. Awesome. Oh boy, it's nighttime. We help Safan pack. All right, let's decorate this page, and then we'll go see the sheep. Um, a sketch of Sofan, of course. We'll put that here. Um, she said I could take a book with me if I'd like. Language learning as a mellow flirtation. I can't quite read that unless I really squint. The Asm language is alluring, endearing, and difficult. Hold on. It is a little like learning to dance during an earthquake, and a lot more like trying to catch the attention of a bartender during the lunch rush. Before making even a cursory attempt at speaking or reading the language, we will need to power through several hundred pages of theory. We will begin with the wise words of an experimental linguist named 
That honestly sounds like the kind of book I would love. Um, let's see. I'll put down, she kept the self-portrait of her late husband, even though she didn't understand it. And I'll put down this. And she kept a religious book that was important to Yuri. We build our lives out of what we leave behind as much as from what we carry with us. All right. What can we use to make this a little more colorful? The cart, some flowers, the demon. Um, the flowers and lemons. Absolutely. I don't even know if I want to put this quote down. This whole thing just needs a little more color, I feel like. Ah. Well, I'm gonna have to stretch this one out so it'll fit. There we go. Lovely. All right. Um. Before I end, I can talk to Sofan a little bit more. I love sounds and music. If you have anything you recorded to play me. Oh. So, Machura is the photo person, and uh, Safan is the... Ooh, kites. Are those kites in the air? Safan is the recording person. The sun is going down, so the shrine should be open soon. Okay. Mike is very reclusive these days. You and him are the two weirdest people I've ever met. <laughs> so I like the idea of you hanging out together. I like the idea, too. All right, what recordings can I play her? Hmm. A prayer for peace. It did come in the end. Let's ask about the waterfall. Oh, I know where this is. It always cracks me up how beautiful her house is, right next to these waterfalls. And she's still so grumpy most of the time. Um, what other things can I play for her? This instrument, what was the deal with this instrument? Oh, I go out to sit and listen to this sometimes. It's so old, but it still works. I think it used to be more powerful, but somebody took the heartbeat out of it. Um, we can ask about the birds. How about the sirens? No, I don't want to ask. Uh, that has to do with the gray hand, ha gray hands. I bet. Let's see what she thinks of them. Oh, we're very tired of hearing this. They've been randomly blaring it the last two weeks. If at least it played like every hour or something, it'd be less annoying. And the birds. Or maybe I could have asked about the birds in her birdhouse, but. <laughs> the birds around here are thieves. I don't know why. They steal everything, especially shiny things. One time. A bird landed on a cake I made for Kochi's <laughs> birthday. Just landed straight in it. Didn't even eat any. All right, let's take a picture of her. We'll ask if we can take a picture of her. Nice. He has been through a lot, 
and now we'll have to start all over again. All right, thanks for your time. Okay, well, before we end, I want to go say hi to these sheepies. The doors to the shrine must be open now. Yeah, yeah, I know. But they're animals. They're animals to be greeted. Or at least have their picture taken, please. Oh no, th those are cows still. Yeah, where's my bike? Oh hey, this place is new. What he is seems it? To have been obsessed with figuring this out. Oh, these are Yuri's machines. Ooh, an instrument. Excuse me. This reminds me of Dr. Funyo's musical inventions. I wonder if it's also supposed to heal with sound. Interesting. Beautiful little lake. I have no idea where I am. Help, I'm lost. Um. All right, there's the makeshift apartment. So if I go this way, I should find my bike. Yes, there's the house. And I remember I came up over here. I'm just gonna go find my bike again. And then I'll end it. And then probably head back to the shrine in the next one. I also know there's a, an achievement for like following Kochi around and getting his perspective on, um, on the valley. So if I can figure out how to do that, that'd be interesting as well. But I, I guess I'll figure out which of those I'll do in the next episode. Until then, I have been Mars, and I will be back with more Season A Letter to the Future.